Hello, and welcome to Pendulum Dowsing and Tarot Reading with Lyman Holton. We're going to have a reading for your zodiac sign for the month of July 2022. Are you ready? Let's get going. So first, I'm going to unpack, unwrap my tarot deck, my crystal pendulum that I like to keep on top of my tarot deck. And we'll place the cloth off to the side here. We're all set. Let's get going. This tarot card reading is being given for people born under the sign of Taurus for the month of July 2022. Their birth dates run from April 20th through May 20th. The strengths generally associated with Taurus are reliable, patient, practical, devoted, responsible, and stable. The weaknesses, now don't get your feelings hurt, stubborn, possessive, uncompromising. So these are generalizations. Some, none, or all may apply to you, only you know that for sure. So I'll get started by cutting and shuffling the tarot deck three times in preparation for drawing the cards. One, it's two, and there's three. With my left hand, I'll put the cards into a fan. Move the pendulum off to the side a little bit here. Because the left hand is associated with the right side of the brain, which is the most intuitive side. So I will select three random cards with my left hand. We have one. We have two. And we have three. There we go. Now I will put these back together here and set them off to the side. I'll bring down these three cards so you can view them. Okay, so we've got to get the camera adjusted for a closer view. The first card represents what you need to let go of as a Taurus for the month of July. And that is through the Queen of Cups. And I will come back and explain each of these three cards after they're all turned over. The second card tells you what you need to know as a Taurus for July, the Queen of Wands. The third card, upcoming opportunity for Taurus in July. King of Swords. All right, so we've got some pretty high ranking arcana cards here, right? All right, not the major, but the minor. That's, that's pretty interesting right there. Okay, let's talk about the first card, the Queen of Cups, and how it represents what you need to let go of. The Queen of Cups card represents feminine, intuitive, generous, loving, sensitive, shy, psychic, moody. The queen is caring and compassionate. She is sensitive to others' feelings and has a trustworthy intuition. That's what needs to be let go of for the month of July for you, Taurus. Do not try to be so compassionate. Try to subdue your feminine qualities 
If you're a male, you have some feminine qualities. If you're female, you have some masculine qualities. That's just the way we're designed. So don't get hung up over, I'm a man or whatever. Now, let go of the intuitiveness, the compassion, all that sort of thing. That doesn't mean go out there and just be cruel and hard on people. What it means is don't be the, the nice, sweet, nurturing person that you possibly are sometimes. Just let that aside. In other words, be nice, but be more neutral toward others. I hope that makes sense to you because you are not going to be able to follow through properly with what's coming up for the month of July if you're this person, okay? So just cool your heels in that aspect. See what comes up in August, probably it'll change back. Now let's look at the Queen of Wands, which represents what you need to know as a Taurus for the month of July. The Queen of Wands represents feminine, businesswoman, kind, leader, determined, independent. The Queen represents someone who is confident and focused. The charisma of the Queen inspires others to do better. Now here we've got two feminine based cards. And you see how they're both different, right? You got this one with more of the, the nurturing, sweetness, empathy, caring, all that kind of thing about her that we need to set aside so that this side can come through. Now, that's what you need to know. Come through with your confidence. Come through nice and strong, able to help others, and you're going to be better for that. You will be, and others will be as well. They need your help. Some people you know, someone you know. Now let's go to the third card. We've got the King of Swords. And the King of Swords represents upcoming opportunity. The King of Swords represents masculine. Lawyer, judge, cautious, fair, honest, leader, impartial. The king is an intellectual authority, stern and logical. He offers counsel based on superior knowledge and experience. And therein lies your upcoming opportunity. Now here you need to know that you're a leader type of a person with the feminine traits, right? Here the opportunity lies under the masculine side. But both of these run together quite nicely. You've got your confident leader who's going to help others. You've got your confident leader here who has very good intellectual knowledge. So here's where the opportunity lies is through that strength and that knowledge. And you need to know about this in order to help take advantage of this. I hope that makes sense to you. Now, that's all I have to say about the cards. So, I'm going to take the pendulum and double check here what we have. Show me yes. Okay, and the higher consciousness is showing me that through the pendulum, this is how it answers yes to my questions counterclockwise circle. Show me no. And I'm being shown that a clockwise circle means no. And here's the question. Has this tarot card reading for the month of July, for people born under the zodiac sign of Taurus, been given for their best. Okay, and we have a yes. Now my higher consciousness moves the hand that moves the pendulum. And it does that through my ideal motor reflex, which is 
tiny nerves and muscles that run between my brain and my fingertips. That's controlled by my higher consciousness in this case because I'm doing my best to keep my hands steady. So there we have a yes, a good solid reading. I want you to know that I give personal tarot card readings and or pendulum dowsings to people. If you are interested in that, please send me an email to lyman.holton at yahoo.com and I will perform the dowsing and or reading on video. I will send you a link to that video after you view that link. It'll be a private link, only you will be able to see it. You decide what that is worth to you. And then you go to my YouTube channel and on the top right portion of the page where it says, donate to my channel, that's through PayPal. And what you do is you put in whatever sum of money you feel is appropriate for the reading you got. This way, nobody gets hurt. You cannot think he charges too much, whatever, you know, oh my gosh, he took advantage of me. No, there's none of that here. Because you don't, you decide what to pay after you've already seen the reading. So, you know, it's not possible to get hurt on this. And I hope to hear from you, and that's the end of this reading. I hope this was a great tarot card reading for you for the month of July, 2022. I wish you all the luck in the world and your dreams come true in July. Please come back and see me again next month. I'm always right here. Goodbye for now. <laughs>